Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel. Guys, today I will discuss the very important topic related with RCC column and the topic is never forget 10 basic rules for design of column. Guys, if you can design of RCC column, if you can do the design of RCC column for one story, for two story, for three story or for any story, so it's okay. But before starting design of RCC column, you should know the standard and basic rules of column. What are the 10 basic rules before starting design of RCC column? So you should know the basic rules. So in this video, I will discuss 10 basic rules which can help you during design of RCC column. So therefore guys, if you want to learn something new related with design of RCC column, so you should watch this video from start to end, then you're able to do something new in civil engineering, especially in design of RCC column. So let's start guys. If this topic is helpful for you, 10 basic rules for design of RCC column, so you will not pay for like this video. So for my motivation, like this video and subscribe the channel if you are new. Let's start guys. The topic is 10 basic rules for design of column. Guys, the first one is, that is, as you know guys, we have square column specially and rectangular column, okay? So I will tell you guys, choose square column. Why choose square column? Okay, so choose square column for axial load for axial load how as you can see guys this is a column okay and this is the at center axial point when the load okay so uh, it shows n show uh, load okay load of the column when the load comes on the center of the column on axial point so in this case choose square column which one square column choose square column okay as you can see l and width l and width so means length should be is equal its width in the case of for axial load choose square column when the load comes on when the compression load comes on the center of the column so choose square column in this case you can choose square column now guys the second rule is that is choose a rectangular column in which case for a centering axial load or axial, yes, axial load. How? Again, as you can see, guys, this is RCC column. Okay? And this is its axial point. When the load comes on the eccentric point, eccentric point uh, means uh, without center, okay? If load comes here, not on the center, or on this point, when the load comes on the any point but not at the center of the column compression when the compression load comes not on the center without axial point so in this case select rectangular column select rectangular column so this is the second basic point means this is l and this is w means l should be length should be greater than width of the column okay so remember these two points especially basic rules in rcc column where you can select square column and where you can select rectangular column rectangular column for eccentric axial load okay when load not comes on the center of the column and square column when the load comes on the center okay so this is second basic rule now guys, the third rule of 
RCC column. That is, guys, as you can see, guys, this is column. Okay, and these are longitudinal bars. As you can see, these are ties, lateral ties. Okay, so <coughs> spacing of ties. This is standard, okay? Spacing of ties should be between 100 to 200 millimeter. This is the second basic rule. The tie spacing should be between 100 to 200 mm. And this you can select. This is the third basic rule. Guys, the fourth basic rule is okay dia of longitudinal bar okay that should be between 12 to 22 mm okay longitudinal bars this dia Right now, guys, the fifth basic rule of design of column that is fifth concrete cover. As you can see, guys, here this is RCC column, and this is one steel bar, this is second one, this is third, this is fourth, this is lateral ties so guys the concrete cover from the steel center to external so it should be what 25 mm or more more mean 25 to 40 mm you can keep this is the standard but especially 25 is okay Concrete cover from the center of the steel to exterior point. That should be 25 mm. But here this one not from the center. It should be not less than 15 mm. This is the other point. Okay. Basic rule of design of column. Guys here the sixth rule is. So let me erase these. The sixth one is, okay, that is use minimum M20 grade concrete in column. And M20 grade concrete ratio is 1, 1 1.53, where 1 is, 1 is, Cement 1.5 is sent and 3 is aggregate or crush. Okay, this is the sixth basic rule. Okay, guys, the seventh one is longitudinal bar should be. Bend okay, like duck leg at the bottom, as you can see, this is longitudinal bar. So, at the foundation, okay, it should be bent like this, okay, it should be bent like duck leg. This is the seventh basic rule. Now, guys, the eighth one is use four numbers steel bars and square or rectangular column. Okay, use minimum four. Numbers of longitudinal bars in square are in rectangular column. 
ओके एंड द नाइन्थ वन इज दैट इज गाइज एज यू कैन सी दिस इज स्क्वेयर कॉलम सो यूज मिनिमम फोर एंड रेक्टेंगुलर कॉलम ऑल्सो यू कैन यूज फोर नंबर मिनिमम बट द नाइन्थ वन इज ओके दैट इज गाइज एट विथ साइट साइड ऑफ कॉलम द लॉन्गिट्यूडनल बार्स शुड बी एज यू कैन सी ओके इट शुड बी एट आउटर साइट लाइक दिस ओके सो दिस इज ओके नॉट लाइक दिस एज यू कैन सी दिस इज वेट साइट इफ यू ब्रिंक द स्टील बार्स हेयर like this okay so this is wrong okay the concrete cover should be with 25 mm okay if you increase the concrete cover if in rectangular column okay so uh, yes this is okay but if the concrete cover is more specially in rectangular column here in this case if the steel bar is inside of rectangular so this is wrong and the last one is guys 10 point basic rules that is okay top and bottom area of column should be should be same as you can see this is a uh, column okay and its top and bottom should be area okay so the area should be same okay so my diagram is not good but i'll try so it should be same same area okay it's not mean that the width and length at the bottom should be increase and the top should be decrease no it should be same at the top and also at the bottom so guys these are uh, the important basic rules for design of column which can help you during design of rcc column so therefore guys you should not forget these basic rules which i have discussed in front of you so guys if you have any question related with this topic so you can comments i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye no no